Haifa Yoga community. Staying simple today, we are going to move through a simple yoga flow. A lot of my classes are structured in this way, where we'll be starting with breath work and then a little warm up, a little bit of standing poses, cool down, back bends, twists, and shavasana. Should feel really nice on the whole system. I hope you enjoy our simple time together. Let's find a comfortable seated position. Now this can mean cross-legged, if that's comfortable, sitting up on something if you have tight or sore hips, or you can even sit on your heels or in a chair. Whatever is going to be most comfortable so that you can feel your spine being nice and long, and you can relax your shoulders, slightly tuck the chin, and then close the eyes. And let's take a moment to listen to all the sounds that are far away. And then listen to the sounds that are close by. And then listen to the sounds of our own breath. Now you can allow your hands to come down, just relax in your lap, on your thighs. If you have found that your current seated position is not very comfortable, then adjust a little bit so you can sit up nice and tall. And then we're going to take a deep inhale in through the nose. Hold the breath at the top. Exhale out the mouth. And then hold empty. Continue this pattern, inhale in through the nose, filling up the belly, filling up the diaphragm, letting the shoulders relax, hold the breath at the top. Exhale gently out the mouth. Hold empty. You can have your eyes closed or slightly open. Inhale in. Hold at the top. Exhale slowly. Hold at the bottom. Inhale in. Hold at the top. Exhale slowly. Hold empty. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, hold. And then release the breath, let the body do whatever it would like to do. Just take a moment to notice if your thoughts are a little different, if your breath is a little different, and listening to those sounds around you. And then we'll make our way into a push-up position or plank. So the hands right under the shoulders, spreading the fingers, lengthening through the crown of the head, engaging the core, try and get the center of the body a little higher. You see if you can still feel those deep breaths. And we're going to take the feet hip distance apart, and then lift the hips up and back, pressing our hands away, pulling our ribs in, Lengthening through the crown of the head, sinking the heels down. Then we'll inhale, lift both heels up. Exhale, press into the hands and sink your heart a little closer to your toes. Press the backs of the legs away from you. Sits bones toward the ceiling. 
and then inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, drop the heels down. One more time, inhale, lift, and exhale, and drop the heels. And we're going to inhale forward to plank. Exhale down to Chaturanga, so try and get your chest way out over your fingertips. And then down to the earth, we'll untuck the toes, roll the shoulders back. Inhaling up for a cobra, and then exhale, keep that exhale going. Press all the way back, downward facing dog. So we're moving through a vinyasa. Inhale forward through plank. Exhale down, Chaturanga, all the way to the earth. Pull the elbows in, roll the shoulders back, untuck the toes, lift, inhale, and then exhale all the way back, downward dog. One more time, inhale forward to plank. Exhale down, Chaturanga, all the way to the ground. Untuck the toes, inhale up, Cobra, and then exhale back. Downward facing dog. And we're going to bring that right foot forward and place it down near the right hand. And place that back knee down, untuck the toes. And at first we're just going to take a little bit of weight out of the fingertips and try and sink our hips forward as much as we can. Trying to slowly get the chest a little bit higher. And a few deep breaths. Now we'll take a deep inhale, see if we can get a little higher. And then exhale, send the hips back, straighten that front leg as much as we can, flex the toes. And then inhale, rolling forward. And exhale, rolling back. Inhale, rolling forward. Exhale, rolling back. And we'll inhale forward one more time. Then let's tuck the back toes as we exhale and we'll press that heel back behind us. Again, try and take some of the weight out of the fingertips, maybe just staying here, working on lengthening through the crown of the head. Trying to get some more of that weight out of our fingers. Maybe we can bring our hands toward our thigh. If that's too much, you can place that back knee down at any time. If we can find our hands to our thigh, we can bring the hands to heart center and breathe. And wherever you are, place the back knee down and we'll bring both hands to the inside of that right foot, sinking the hips forward. And let's keep the right knee hugged in toward that right shoulder and untuck the back toes. Maybe coming down toward that left forearm. And you can let that right knee fall out to the right side. And then pulling that back to center, we'll tuck the back toes, send the right foot back to meet the left, head down through vinyasa. So we'll take an inhale and plank, exhale chaturanga, inhale for cobra, and exhale back, downward dog. Bring that left foot forward, place it down near the left hand. Place the back knee down, untuck the toes. And again, start to take some of the weight out of the fingertips, sinking the hips forward. So you can get the chest a little higher and allow for some nice deep breaths.
take a deep inhale in. Exhale, send the hips back, straighten that front leg as best as we can. Inhale, rolling forward. And exhale back, moving with your breath. And the next time that we're forward, tuck those back toes, reach that heel back, try and take a little more of the weight out of the fingertips, staying here, maybe the hands come toward the thigh, up toward the heart. And breathe. Both hands to the inside of the left foot. Untuck the back toes. Come down toward that right forearm if you would like. And you can let the left knee fall out to the left side. A few deep breaths. And coming up to our hands, tuck the right toes, send the left foot back, and then we'll place the knees down right under the hips, the hands right under the shoulders. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. And exhale in reverse. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. A few more times. Now we'll come to a neutral spine. Keep the left hand on the ground. We'll turn the right fingers in, the palm facing up, and head underneath our left elbow. Try and lay our right ear on the earth and use that left hand to open and twist a little more. You can stay here or reach that left hand around behind your back the inside of the right thigh. Deep breath. And unwinding, coming back through center. Keep the right hand down. Turn the left palm up, send the fingers through underneath that right elbow. Again, you can press and open, or reach the right hand behind the back for the inside of the left thigh. Deep breath. And unwinding, coming all the way through center, and we'll roll onto our backs with our heels close into our sits bones so that we can touch our heels with our fingertips, press the heels down, lift the hips up, tuck one shoulder blade and then the other, keep the palms pressing or interlace the fingers underneath you. And then get the hips a little higher and reach, let's reach the left heel up. And place that heel down, lift the right. And place that heel down, lift both heels up by coming up to the balls of your feet. Release the hands and roll down one vertebra at a time. Pull the right knee into your chest, straighten the left leg out, pull the right knee over the body with the left hand and find a nice twist. And 
And coming back through center, we'll straighten that right leg out, pull the left knee in, and pull it over the body with the right hand. And back through center, pull both knees into our chest. You can reach to the insides of the knees and the outsides of the feet for happy baby. Or if you would like, you can place your hands down on the earth and press your hands down and see if you can send your feet up and over your head very carefully, very gently for a plow. If the toes can just touch the earth, see if you can walk them a little farther away or walk them a little closer. And then ever so slowly, really feeling each vertebra make contact with the mat, roll all the way down and release out into Shavasana. Tucking one shoulder blade and then the other, letting the toes fall away from each other. Relaxing the eyes, the tongue, and the breath. And giving yourself a little bit of time just to be. Alrighty.
Gently find your way back to your body, back to your breath. Take a deep inhale in and a nice easy exhale out. And then you can decide if you would like to stay right here melting down into your mat or slowly find your way back to that same comfortable seated position in which we started our journey together. Again, listening to the sounds that are far away. Listening to the sounds that are close by. And then listening to the sounds of your own breath. You have found a hidden teaching, an Easter egg, a little hidden gem. You can find these throughout all of my classes uh, throughout the years. Today we're going to do a little bit of alternate nostril breathing because it is one of my favorites. So let's sit up nice and tall. Relax the shoulders, close the eyes. And just noticing our breath. And then let's bring our right thumb to our right nostril. And we'll take an inhale in through the left. We'll use our right ring finger to hold the left nostril at the top, releasing the right and then exhaling out the right nostril. Inhale in through the right. Hold at the top with the thumb. Release the ring finger and exhale out the left. Inhale in left. Hold at the top. And exhale out right. Inhale right, hold, and exhale left. Inhale left, hold, and exhale right. Inhale right, hold. Exhale left, inhale left, hold, exhale right, inhale right, hold, exhale left, inhale left. Hold, hold, release the hand, hold, hold, and let it go when you're ready. Let the breath return to normal. May you have a blessed, abundant, incredible day, week, month and life. Namaste.